Today we're going to talk about three brand new developments. Condos, they're townhouses and apartments in the Okanagan Landing area. They're all really, really close to one another. And we're just going to take a look, start off taking a look at the one that's the farthest along in the construction, and then we'll end with the one that's the least far along in the construction. So. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler, and first on our list is Saleview Townhomes at 7599 Clinger Road. Prices at this development start at 6849 plus GST. They're near the water. They're right across the lake from the water. There is no public access. In fact, your closest public access would be Paddlewheel Park, which is literally a two-minute drive or a 17-minute walk, says Google and your kids are walking distance to Okanagan Landing Elementary School, that is a 12 minute walk. So really convenient for families. There's townhouses here at the top and then there's a proposal for 58 unit par apartment building down below, which at this point hasn't, I don't believe, made it through city council as yet as there is rezoning required, but that's the plan. The townhouses are three bedroom, two and a half bathrooms, double car garage, covered patios. They're family oriented, like I said, close to the schools, close to the park, etc. And the one thing that definitely makes them family oriented is the top side floor plans. There's three story units where you walk into the basement level, up to the main floor, and then up to the bedrooms. And so younger folks are okay to drag their groceries up the stairs, but the older folks, not necessarily. The middle three-story units at the top are the least expensive. And then there's these others that have nice lake views, plus in addition to the three bedrooms, they have a den. And those at this time are priced at $719.9 plus GST. Now, looking at the downside townhomes, those are more for older folks, bigger level entry units, three bedrooms up plus two down, double car garage, those start at this time at 779.9 plus GST with the end units being, I actually don't know how much they are because they're sold. These ones are 1900 square feet to 2000 square feet approximately. And like I say, level entry units so you don't have to drag your groceries upstairs. Now the units that are currently available to be sold are priced on the website and the others that are work in process, these ones being the gray ones down below, are not priced as yet. So who knows what those are going to be, and I have no idea what the prices of the apartments would be. That has yet to be seen. Now next on our list, we have this townhouse development that looks to be nameless. It does have an address though at 7670 Okanagan Landing Road. I can't find any details online. I can't find a website. I couldn't find anything really, except there's a pre-sale right now. Unit three is on the MLS for 868,000. I assume it's plus GST. These units are three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It does say it's close to a shopping center, which I don't think is quite true unless you're shopping for booze because across the street, directly across the street is the 1516 pub and the liquor store. So I guess if that's what you're shopping for, then yes, it's close to a shopping center. What is true about the marketing is it's close to Paddlewheel Park. It's a five minute walk. The boat launch is there, pickleball, tennis, playground, etc. It's also pretty close to Okanagan Landing School, the other way, 13 minutes. You can apparently get an optional elevator with these units, which is a bonus for sure, because the real attraction here is the rooftop patios. Your views from most units are of the other unit across from you, like if you're just looking out the front because there's units on either side. They're gonna be a little bit tight in there. However, I think the rooftop patio views should be really nice. 1,869 square feet of living space plus your 556 square foot terrace plus the balconies plus your garage, which from what I can see is a one car garage. However, there is another covered parking spot in front which is, uh, looks like a carport. So you walk into the basement again, and then you walk up to the main floor, which has one bedroom. It's not the master bedroom though, it's a smaller secondary bedroom. And then up to your third level with the additional bedrooms, including the master bedroom, the master suite. And then you go up one more time to the fourth level to the rooftop patio. Hence the need for an elevator, maybe, I think. I think I might take that option. Anyhow, that's the new development right on Okanagan Landing Road as well, 7670 Okanagan Landing Road. 
And then last on our list, and the one with the least progress at this point is Brooks Landing, right on the lake at 7501 Brooks Lane. This one is a five-story, 17-unit apartment building, a condominium residence, as it's called, with two and three bedroom units. There's covered parking, there's storage, there's plans for a pool, a hot tub, a fitness room. And it looks, the design is really cool modern concept. Floor plans are anywhere from 1,800 square feet to 2,800 square feet. And all of this is on 142 linear feet of Okanagan Lake frontage. The application has been submitted for a dock. You, I mean, you're right on the lake, you're gonna want a dock. And right now they're still in the pre-sale stage. No building has begun. And that's Brooks Landing. And those are our three brand new developments in the Okanagan Landing area. That's what's happening in the neighborhood. If you'd like more information on any one of these developments, please let Remax Vernon Salt Fowler know. We'd be happy to help. And now if you're not familiar with the Okanagan Landing area, maybe you'd like to have a look at our Okanagan Landing neighborhood video.